Welcome to another episode of Drink With Me. A place where us liver compromised brethren can join forces and drink in total peace and quiet. So I got this bottle of wine for Easter instead of an Easter egg. I don't like chocolate so the wife always gets me a bottle of wine instead. And for anyone who knows me, they know I love a bit of ass. So I got a bottle of wine called Smile and Donkey. Uh, it's not easy being a donkey nowadays. So it says in the bottle. It's a, it's a Portuguese wine. It is a cork top. So give it a little bit of... Okay, we'll cut here because clearly I'm attacking this bottle of wine. And we'll come back when it's open. So, we have the wine open. We have our glass. We are going to give it a little pour. Let's see how it goes. We'll give it a little smell. Ooh, very fruity. Wow, that smells nice. On the nose, I'm, I'm just getting fruits. Um, I got plums, cherries, kind of dark forest fruits, like autumn, autumn fruits. Wow. <sighs> Give me a sec to regain my composure. This is so unprofessional. It's very rare that I'm knocked back by wine. Jesus, this is good. Before we describe this wine, just this is a wine I want to bathe in. Very fruit forward. Uh, dark fruits, forest fruits, really like prunes, plums, um, blackberries. This wine is slightly dry, not too dry. It's very heavy on the tannins. It's very tannic. It's like drinking cotton wool. I feel like I have a medical condition. It's really nice though. This wine is from Tesco. I know it was close to a tenner. It's a crack of Portuguese wine. Something to do with donkeys. I've never heard a donkey with a Portuguese accent before, but look, who might say that's not true? So every time you have a glass of this wine, you can relax in your chair and think of your favorite ass, I mean donkey, and save donkeys. I would happily drink a dozen of these to save one donkey, or a dozen donkeys, I don't know. As long as I don't have to house them, I think we're okay. This is a damn good wine. I highly recommend it. I wonder do the donkeys themselves make the wine, or drink it. I don't know, maybe that's why they're going extinct, drinking too much wine. But if they're making it, Jesus, fair play to them. Surely that's cheaper labour than getting people to you. How are they going extinct? Give yourself a couple of donkeys, a couple of barrels of grapes. God, if only small vineyard in Portugal, a handful of donkeys. I wonder if donkeys are tax deductible. If, if, if anyone knows, let me know in the comments. Before I go, I'd like to thank my team, as usual. If you have anything to say, honey. Can I go to bed now? Oh. Thanks for joining me again. Until next week. Cheers.